Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I'm excited to bring you the color shoot. And what's exciting for me on this is I'm going to send you the link for the instructions to build this. And what it basically does is you're allowed to put colored pieces, EV3 pieces in here, and have it read the color sensor, read the colors, and basically pop it out. So if you want to see how I put this on a robot to sort things, you're going to have to stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay guys, so this color shoot is awesome. What's more awesome is I sent you guys the link in the description on how to build the shoot. And then I've actually also sent you the link for the sorter bot. The sorter bot instructions will allow you to put this color sensor attachment on. Super easy, it took me a couple of minutes to put this on so it can read the colors as it as the colors go down the chute and basically pop it out. Kind of like the sorter bot. Let me go ahead and show you the sorter bot. Yeah. So the plan today is to basically show you how I attach this onto my educator bot. I'm going to show you basically the program on how I put, you know, the colors in and how it, the, you know, the robot knew where to go and to flip out the pieces. And then basically at the end, show you that this actually works and show you the entire robot mission where it goes out and sorts these colors. Okay, so here is the color shoot. Um, like I said, I'll leave you the instructions or the link for the instructions for this shoot. And then um, the sorter bot basically gave the directions. It's not very hard to attach this color sensor on it so it can read the colors as it goes down the chute. But what's really cool is, I'm on motor control, is the way it works. You can see here that when this black piece rotates from the medium motor, it basically pushes this, um, I don't know what piece you want to call it. I, my students usually call it the flipper. See how it comes up? So this will trap the colors behind it. When it's ready to dump the colors out, it'll go down and then push it back up and flip it over this gray piece, you know, into whatever container you want to put it into. So it's a really cool mechanism here. See how it goes up and down? And then it's just gonna push that up. So it, ha it has to go down and up really quick because you, it doesn't want the other colors behind it to you know, fall out. So it has to go down and up and push it out, but then stay in this position so all the colors behind it can stay in the chute until it's ready for them to get dispensed. Okay, everybody, I took the color shoot and attached it to my educator bot here. It wasn't anything impressive. It was just one of those, I don't know, when you build something, you feel like you just kind of pieced it together. Um, I actually had a medium motor attachment here. I just kind of attached it to the uh, axle here and basically kind of just supported it. I just didn't want it to move because this attachment moved up and down. And so I just secured it and it's ready to go. So, you know, whatever you robot you build, it's pretty, it seems pretty versatile that you can attach it to almost anything. And then there is the color sensor there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead now and 
um, use the program to sort colors into cups. Okay, I'm on the link. If you check the description, here is the shoot link that I have sent you. So that's the direction just for the shoot. And then if you scroll down a little farther, there is the sorter bot. And basically, you'll just look for the instructions on how to put the color sensor on. I believe if you go to the sorter bot, it actually has the same exact shoot as this one up here. So you might, you might not have to go to just the shoot. You might can just go to the sorter bot instructions. And I believe this shoot is the same exact shoot. But this will show you how to put the color sensor on. Okay, I'm on my Lego Mindstorm software here. Um, don't be overly impressed. A lot of this was just copy and paste. So let's go ahead and get started over here. There's going to be an hourglass um, picture on the brick. And it's going to basically wait for me to press the middle button. And that's going to start the entire program. And here is basically this whole looped switch here. So when the color sensor sees blue it's going to say blue and it's going to say each color that pops up and then basically i just had the robot um the these two c motors and these two b and c motors i'm sorry these two b motors basically just have it rotate to to uh face the right direction towards the cup the b and c block has it go towards the cup and there's a stop and then the uh, medium motor is basically going to rotate 360 degrees to flip out the piece, but also to be able to go back into position so it keeps the other colors there. And then I just did it everything in reverse to get back to the beginning. So if you notice, um, there's 30% uh, motor speed for 70 degrees. So I just did it backwards for that. So everything is, um, and over here, um, this was not really looped. It's only meant to go five times because I can only fit five colors in that shoot. So, you know, one day I can make you know, a, a longer shoot to make uh, more colored pieces. But for today, it's only going to be five pieces. So that's basically the program. Okay, the color shoot is ready. Attached to my educator bot here. I have five colors that I'm going to sort into these four cups. Let me go ahead and just name and claim them now so you don't think that I'm just randomly dropping it into random cups. Blue will end up going here. This will be yellow. This will be red. And this will be green. Okay, so the program has us just drop, dropping in the colors into the chute. So we're going to go red, uh, sorry, blue, green, blue, yellow, and let's make red last. Now, the order uh, just doesn't, it doesn't matter. The program doesn't having us going a specific order. So when I'm finished doing this set of colors, I'll just do it again in a different order, just to show you that because of the switch program, it doesn't matter what order I put these colors in. It'll just read the color as it comes down. And the program knows, you know, which cup to put it in. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, we get the hourglass. Just waiting for us to. Okay, let's go back to blue. Okay, so green, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, so what I want to do is, like I said before, refill this. I'll just go in a different order, just to show you that 
it doesn't really matter. Let's let's start with two blues. Two blues, a red, a green, and let's finish with yellow this time. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, we'll end up going back to blue again. Perfect. And we got, like before, a red, green, yellow, and two blues. Beautiful job, color sorter bot. Okay guys, so there you have it. This guy is super cool. I really just like the way the mechanism works on this medium motor where it can just flip pieces off and then do it so quick that it actually can keep the other colors behind it and then just sort these pieces out super satisfying and with the program it's just really cool to be able to learn how to use the switch block to basically just go you know oh green do this oh red do something different so for those of you that are just learning to program hopefully you know you can start to learn how to use a switch block in order to get you know different things going on where there might be different cases something different for red, something different for yellow. So it's just one of those things where it's a neat thing to learn. That way, when you're doing complicated missions with your robot, you can go, oh, if it does one thing, I'll you know, have a separate program if it's a, some, you know, something else. So you can utilize it with all your sensors and you know different situations. Okay, guys, hopefully you loved the color shoot here. You guys have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you on Monday. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Zega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.